Now it's one, two, three, four, five shots deep. I'm a and welcome back to my channel so today i thought i'd show you how i clean my rugs so basically just over a year ago january 2019 i uploaded a video where i showed you how i cleaned my numbers rather than putting them in the washing machine and so many of you guys really liked it and you said it was really helpful and that you'd either tried out my method or were going to try it out which was lovely to hear um, so I thought I'd show you how I clean my rugs because before we used to send them off to get washed, um, re -mended, like mended and reproofed but because they don't really get their rugs ripped anymore um, there's like no need to send them off to have them re like any holes like patched up. Um, so basically i'm now cleaning my rugs myself and i've also got some reproofer that i am going to use on some of the rugs as well so i thought i'd just show you what i use how i use it and basically how i get them from disgustingly muddy from being out in the fields all winter to really nice and clean for next winter when they wear them again so i've brought um home three different rugs this is our wind medium weight it is medium weight with a neck um, and it's from the brand Weather Beater. I've then got Hector's um, Heavyweight. It just looks like this. It's with a neck. Um, and if you watched my end of 2019 tackle, that would be in it. Um, and then I also bought home this Lightweight. This is just from the brand Rhine Gold. It was like the first ever rug we bought Sparky. However, it has slightly broken but we're going to use some of the bits on this rug um, for other rugs if we need it. Um, but I thought I'd show you because lightweights are the easiest to clean. So I thought I'd demonstrate on this one how to clean it. And then I'll um, carry on with the other two. So each rug you do have to clean slightly differently in terms of heavyweight, medium weight, lightweight. Um, because a lightweight dries really quickly. So it doesn't actually matter if you get the inside of it wet. Um, however, like a heavyweight, it dries really slowly. So you need to like make sure you only get um, the waterproof side wet and you don't get the lining wet because otherwise it will literally take days to dry. Um, which I know is not a big deal because you won't need it. Um, however, it's kind of just a hassle to not have it all done within like about a day or two. So I just have some sponges. But the first thing I want to say is this uh, washing up liquid. You don't necessarily have to get the m and one or the sensitive one. However, eco-friendly ones or cruelty-free ones tend to have less harmful chemicals in them. So it means you need less reproofer because it like because there's not as many harmful chemicals or chemicals in it then less uh, um, like of the waterproofness in the rug comes off. So it's just helpful to have a, either a sensitive one, a cruelty free one or an eco friendly one. And literally you can buy them from any like shop now because everyone's so conscious about being eco friendly. I then have these sponges. So this one is actually my tack cleaning sponge, um, but I don't mind using it for this. Um, because it's got a slightly harsher side on here so it helps a bit to get off like any mud that won't come off with just the soft spongy bit i then have this one which again is soft on one side and kind of hot kind of rougher on the other so then it's like easier to get off bits of mud and then for any bits that are really difficult to get off i've just got this kind of scrubbing brush and this is my last result because the more you scrub away at a rug, it means the less waterproof it becomes, which means the more reproofer you have to use. So I try to avoid using this. However, if there's a really harsh bit of mud that won't come off, I will end up using this. I also use this on the straps because obviously they don't need to be waterproof um, and they tend to get really muddy being under their belly and around their legs. Um, so I use this on the straps because they are really muddy and it doesn't matter um about them being not waterproof so they are all the products i'm going to be using i'm going to start out with the lightweight as i said and basically show you what i do so i've now got my bucket of warm water with soap and i've just laid my rug out over an old table to clean it as you can see, it's really, really dirty. 
Um, so I'm just going to show you that I'm just going to get my warm water, kind of rub it all over the rug and then wash it off with the hose pipe in a minute. <laughs> over their back so what I've just done is laid it over I went in with the sponge kind of scrubbed it a bit went in with the hose pipe and then any bits that were still mud I went in again with the but the harder side of the sponge now I'm going to do the top and then no the side and then I'll do the other side so when I went in with the hose pipe it got it a little bit wet um but this is the bit that I've done and it's looking really good but this is the bit that i haven't done so that's the bit i'm about to do now so i've now just finished washing the rug i've just put it up here it looks a bit weird because of the tangle strap at the back and i can't undo it but it's looking pretty good there's a couple of small dirty patches like this one here but i just won't come off but compared to what it was like it's so much better so i'm going to leave that there to dry for about an hour to two hours it may take slightly longer or maybe quicker and then I'm gonna come back and maybe reproof so it. So I have just finished with the lightweight. I put it on the, um, what's it called? Washing line to dry. Um, hopefully that'll be dry. It's already had an hour, I think an extra half an hour and it'll be all done. Next, I'm gonna do Hector's heavyweight. With something like a heavyweight, because there's a lot of like cushion to it and it's really thick, you don't want to get the insides wet. So putting it on something like a wall or a fence or even something like a bench will mean the insides get less wet. So I put it just on this wall and it kind of hangs a perfect length. Then I'll spin it round to do the other side. As you can see, it's disgustingly messy, um, but this is the best way to clean this one so i'm just going to clean that now and then swap it over i've also just got my hose pipe to clean off any bubbles and then re-wash it to make sure that all the mud is off um the other one actually came out really good on the piping using the stiff brush so i'll show you the result of that as well closer up on this rug what it was is looking so much better it is really quite clean there's a few small um stains but i can't get them out but like it's gonna get really muddy again so i'm not too bothered it's looking a lot cleaner it smells a lot nicer and it's dry on the insides only the trims are wet which is fine but the actual main bit is perfectly dry so that's really good for a medium weight I did try and clean the straps, they actually came up quite a nice grey colour. These bits I didn't do because they would kind of scurf up the edges because the brush was quite rough um, and I didn't want it to mess up his rug. Um, I'm not sure what that is, I don't know if you can see that but I think that's just from one of the clips on his rug. But it's looking so much better, I'm just going to give it a bit of a towel dry and then it can stay here to dry. So I've just come out to my garden, I've just put Hector's uh, heavy weight on the washing line. This was by far the hardest thing to do, it is so heavy, but it's up there, it's drying in the sun. Uh, Sparky's lightweight is completely dry now. Um, so literally, as I said, it is done within a day. It is looking so clean. I am actually not going to reproof this one because I only used a sponge. Um, and obviously the 
eco-friendly washing up liquid so um and it none of the inside was dry when i washed it um so it is still waterproof so as i said we probably won't be using this rug anymore because it did break at the clasp here and we had to use some baler twine to attach it so it's not 100 percent secure so that is also another reason why i'm not going to really reproof in this rug but i'm going to put it back to factory settings and by that i mean making all of these the same length putting it through there and attaching all the buckles up <laughs> all back to factory settings so basically what it looked like when it arrived so i've done all the buckles up there they're on the shortest setting <laughs> i've done these up here and um, so i'm going to fold it all back up and put it away in so place. i've just put the lightweight back in this bag so it's now the next day guys and i thought i'd just show you the finished product of the rug so there are a few stains but that's to be expected it's not going to all come out i didn't do like a professional job but a lot did come out and the water was disgusting that came off. It was so brown. So they definitely all needed to clean. But again, they are going to get dirty next winter. So like some people may say, what's the point in even washing them? But it just means they're all nice and clean and fresh. Um, none of the water went through and I did use, didn't use a lot of washing up liquid. And it, was, um, it didn't have any harmful chemicals in it. So I'm not actually going to reproof them um however they if i if like it comes to it in the winter and they do need a bit of patching up then i will do that um but i don't think they will what the rug's looking like the dirt is coming up a lot on camera okay so like it's it looks really good from off camera maybe it's the lighting i don't know but it looks really clean off camera it's getting really picked up on camera um but it's looking really good. It's all fully dried as well. Um, all the inside is completely dry. It didn't actually get wet, um, which was really helpful. I also used my scrubbing brush to do these bits and they've come out so clean and like a really pure gray, which is so nice to see. So I'm just gonna fold this rug up and put it back in its bag, which I think, yes under there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I have basically only washed two of my rugs. I still have both of their light weights to do, both of their medium weights without necks and both of their medium weights with necks. Um, so I've still got about six more rugs to clean. However, I will be posting the before and afters on my Instagram story. So be sure to check out my Instagram account, which is imi.eventing. I'll leave it linked in the description box below. But I hope you found this video interesting and it gave you some... <laughs> like a bit of um, help if you are going to wash your own rugs and I hope to see you next time. Bye!